What's up? Welcome to another episode of Extra Turns. Today, we got some great guests on the show. Yeah, we have Krim, the Asian Avenger, Rachel, myself, and Jamie, one of our writer-producers here at the Command Zone. We're, there's no theme for this one. We're just okay. playing home-brewed decks. Actually... I am playing one of Rachel's decks. She brews a lot of decks. And so she has cool sense. decks. So I was like, can I can I try one of yours? Yeah. <laughs> Before we get into it, though, we got to talk about our sponsors. So if you want to pick up any of the cards you see on today's episode or maybe brew your own homebrew deck, go to cardkingdom.com slash command. That's the number one place that we go to when we need to get our magic cards, single sealed product, and more. When it comes to getting cards for game nights, game nights live, we go to cardkingdom.com slash command because they have a huge inventory. They have great customer service. And they also ship all of your cards in one convenient package. So you get every Everything to your doorstep, and you're ready to sleeve that sucker up and start playing immediately. So whether you're building a brand new deck or augmenting one that needs a little bit of an upgrade, head on over to cardkingdom.com slash command, support the show, and get the cards you need. Yeah, and once you get those cards, you want to protect them. Ultra Pro is the game accessories brand that Jimmy and I trust our own collections to. You want sleeves, you want deck boxes, you want play mats, you want your battlefield to look awesome. Mm -hmm. UltraPro.com slash command is the best place to go to get all the stuff to protect your game pieces and wow your opponents with how cool you wow. look. That's definitely true. If you want the uh, playmat and the sleeves and the deck box that all match, nobody does like Ultra Pro. So again, ultrapro.com slash command. And finally, Game Nights Live is coming back in 2024. Our first stop is in Magic Con Chicago, everybody. February 23rd to the 25th. The show itself is on February 23rd, that Friday, and you do not want to miss it. Yeah, because we have a really big special guest. We have the professor from Tolarian Community College making it out to his very first Magic Con ever. Wow. He will be playing live on stage with us for Game Nights Live. Try and get there Friday early enough to see the show. It's going to be at 4 p.m. Get there a little early in the afternoon so you can check in your hotel, yep. lounge around a bit. You will want to show up a little bit early to get seats. But again, February 23rd at MagicCon Chicago. Game Nights Live. You don't want to miss it. And no additional ticket is needed. Just your regular MagicCon badge. So watch us battle it out for all the guts and the glory and take the professor down. Yeah, we're <laughs> definitely taking him down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, with that, let's get to this game where I am going to try and take everyone else down. Heck yeah. But Jimmy, you're not in it. Nope. So I'll, I'll get take you down at a later date. <laughs> okay, sure. How's it, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Extra Turns. We have a really cool guest on this one. He's been on Game Nights. He's been on Game Nights Live, but he's never been on Extra Turns before until now. Yo, it's Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. You might know me from Twitch. Also, you've probably seen my content on mtggoldfish.com. I'm over there trolling people with my commander decks as well. And I'm excited to be here today because I'm looking to bake all my opponents into cookies with Bernard Ginger Sculpture. This is an artifact beatdown deck built around golems. I've got all the splicers in magic that are gonna be making me golems on ETB. And if the splicers die, well, Bernard can bake them into cookies stronger and sweeter than before. Add in some token doublers and a pinch of ETB doubling, and you've got the perfect recipe for victory. Hey, it's Jamie. I am super glad to be back on Extra Turns, and my commander is Furcrag, Cunning Instigator. This deck is all about forcing everyone's attacks to get value from my commander. So I'm running a bunch of dragons to feel Fearcrag's goad ability, plus some other fun tricks to control combat. If I can keep my opponents all hitting each other, my big flyers will deal the final blow. Hey everybody, it's Rachel, and I am playing Stang Echo Warrior. This deck wants to put auras with good triggered abilities on my commander because whenever he attacks, he copies himself and those auras too. Plus, I've got some enchantress pieces to push all that value even further. With my pumped up twin making warrior, I'll have my foes feeling the sting of the stang. The commander I'm playing is PNLR, Console of Revival. This commander makes thopters whenever I play stuff from Exile. So I plan to do just that with things like Impulse Draw and Adventures. Then, once I've filled the board with pesky flyers, I'll pump the team and swoop in for the win. All right, let's get cooking. Once you thop, the fun don't stop. This twin is gonna win. Let's fight. Actually, you guys fight. I'm good. <laughs> all right, we all ready? Let's yeah. Do it. Let's do it. Woohoo, yeah, let's go. 
<laughs> I will draw for turn. I'm gonna play a forest and I'm gonna cast a Utopia Sprawl on that forest. And I will choose red and wow. pass the turn. Ramping. All right, I will draw. I'll play a tapped mirrored landscape and pass. All right, I'll draw for turn. I will play a Temple of Triumph. When it ETBs, I will scry one and I will put that on the bottom and Krim, you can go. That's like ramping. That's like ramping? It's like ramping, sort of. Right? Yeah, that's so much value. <laughs> I'm gonna play Windswept Heath. I'm gonna immediately crack it. Uh, I'm gonna search my library for a forest or a plains. I'll find a Spara's headquarters. Put it on the battlefield tapped. I will go to 39 from losing a life. And that's my turn. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I am going to play a game trail as my land for turn, revealing this mountain. <gasps> Behold mountain. Ooh, pretty mountain. <laughs> so it comes in. Snarl lands. Untapped. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I am going to tap this forest for a green and red and cast a commander's plate and a skull clamp. Oh, Not yeah. skull I heard clamp. you like skull clamp. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember from. I drew it and I was very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass to you, Jamie. Yeah, I'll untap. <laughs> I'll draw. I will play a mountain as my land, and I will tap it. Play a soul ring. Ah. Hey, we're doing it. I'm not going to bluff any colorless instant speed <laughs> interaction. I'm just going to crack my myriad landscape. So I can search my deck for any two basics of the same type. I will grab these two islands, put them out tapped. Isn't the rule you have to read the flavor text on those lands? <laughs> or else no. they don't produce mana? Isn't that the rule? What do they do? I don't know. I don't know the story what behind the lands. Do? I would, what, what do they do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Those lands do. He's going to have six <laughs> mana next turn. That's what they do. Uh, it's that, gonna be a lot. Uh, that's it. I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will untap, I will draw. Somehow I have one mana and Jimmy has five. All right, I'm gonna play a Sacred Foundry, untapped. So I'll take two, go to 38, and I'll tap two. And I'll do the fair classic Signet ramping. Or a Signet. So honest. Okay, uh, go ahead, Krim. I'm gonna untap and I'll draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play a Plains, and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play a Idol of Oblivion. Nice. And then I'm done. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. And then I'm gonna play a mountain for turn and it's time to cast Stang. Stang. Uh, Stang. <laughs> didn't talk about that beforehand. That is all I can do this turn. I'll pass to you, Jamie. I will untap and draw. I'll play a Fabled Passage as my land for a turn. Mm -hmm. Again, immediately crack it. Searching for a basic. This time I will get a mountain which will enter untapped because I have four lands already. How about that? Pretty good. It's more than I have. How about that? I will tap Soul Ring for a talisman. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's all happening. And then I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna tap out for my commander. Fear Crag, Cunning Instigator. He's got haste. He has haste. I will go to combat. Rachel, you are the player with the creature. <laughs> It's fair. I will go to combat. That's what I heard. So I, 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 did you say that or am I, I didn't, hearing things? But I will. Okay. Splice this in. I will go to combat. Thank you. I do not have a flyer, so I will take three commander damage. Going to 37. On that attack, my commander will trigger. I've attacked you with a dragon, so I will go to Stang. Ugh, he's a peaceful man. Not anymore. Don't make fun of him. Also, I don't believe he ever was. No, he really isn't. I will pass the turn. Okay, I will adapt. I will draw. Okay, I'll play Mountain. No flavor text, right, Jamie? See? No. Notice how my basic, no flavor text for that reason. So you don't have to read it? <laughs> yeah, I don't have to read it. Mine does have flavor text. <laughs> Add red to your mana pool. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's not flavor text. <laughs> All right, well, my play is less exciting. But still cool. I'm gonna play a Rose Room Treasurer. Nice. Nice. That's all I can do, Krim. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw. And I'm gonna play Overgrown Farmland. I've got two or more lands, so it's gonna be untapped. I'm gonna just politely play a Swiftfoot Boots. I'm just gonna put some shoes out there. Please don't blow up my shoes. Don't take my shoes. How do you impolitely play a Swiftfoot Boots? I don't. That's... Look at these boots. <laughs> that's how you impolitely. <laughs> Your turn. I will untap and draw. I'm gonna play this Cinder Glade as my land for turn. I do have two basic lands. I'm so jealous. I am going to add two mana to my mana pool to cast Ordeal of Nylea, targeting Stang. Okay, it begins. We're gonna, we're doing it, we're doing it. Then I am gonna pay a red and put this Skull Clamp on Stang as well. 
Yep. Then I will go to combat. And because he is angry with you two specifically. He's been tricked. He has. Yeah. 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 He's, For he's Craig a... was like, you know what Krim said about you? <laughs> Josh said nice things, but Krim. <laughs> Don't listen to Fur Craig. <laughs> mean girl. Fur yeah. Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to make Stang happen. I'm, I'm <laughs> actually trying to make that not happen. <laughs> yes. All right. I am going to send Stang at Krim. Yeah. On that attack, it'll trigger. I will make a Stang twin and copies of both Ordeal of Nylea and Skull Clan. So is Ordeal of Nylea an attack trigger? It is. So it will not get plus one, plus one. It will not, but this Stang will. I'll put a plus one counter on the original Stang. The twin will enter, indeed, attacking Jamie. Yep. Makes sense. Can't go to goaded. ghost. Wait, is the twin a ghost? I don't know. Stang well, has no twins. lore, so we could make up and anything. And is really good at hide and seek. <laughs> Based on what happens in this game, that is the Stang lore. <laughs> uh, nothing for me. No, nothing for me. I Damn. will take four, going to 36. I'm gonna take five, going to 34. Now I have a trigger. Because an opponent was hit with a creature that had to attack, I will put a plus one, plus one counter on Fear Craig and draw a card. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna move straight to my end step and I will sacrifice all the tokens. Because the Stang Twin died, I'll draw two cards from Skull Clamp. And because I sacrificed the ordeal, I will search my library for a mountain and a forest and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Man, that's pretty good. That's Jeez, Louise. <laughs> wow, I haven't even made a golem yet. Okay, that is all I got. I will pass to you, Jamie. All right, I will untap and draw. I'm gonna goad straight to combat. Good, 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 <laughs> I was like, good, you don't good. Get goad yet? Oh. This time, Josh. Fear Craig coming at you for four on attack, goading the treasurer. Yep, I have no blocks, obviously, so I'll take four and go to 34. And then I'm gonna cast the Acroan War. Oh, no. oh. Seems like Stang did You're not You're gonna die. yoink Stang! <laughs> Don't yoink my Stang! And I'll enter on chapter one. I'll gain control of target creature for as long as the Acroan no! War remains on the battlefield. Oh, my brother! Yep, I will target Stang. Well, uh, I have nothing neat I can do about that. So Stang will be yoinked. Wow. That's pretty good. And then I, I don't think I have a compelling reason not to do this now. Uh, I'll play a Mr. Cremora. No. That oh. seems good. That sucks, because he's like, Ugh. if you play creatures, you're going to die. But if you play non-creatures, I'm going to draw cards. Yeah. <laughs> and with this predicament I've put you in, I will Is pass the turn. Is this Stax? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I know it's not. All right, I will untap and I will draw. I am going to tap two, and I'm going to play PNLR, Console of Revival. OK. Luckily, it won't die to that Acroan War. That will trigger Rose Room Treasure, and I will make a treasure. All right, then I am going to pay two and play an Arcbound Ravager. OK. Rose Room Treasure, trigger again. Mm -hmm. I will make a second treasure. And then I am goaded. I'll go to combat. Oh, boy. It's I get to say that, too? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I do. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. So I will attack Rachel with my Rose Room Treasure. I will take the four and go to 33. When you get hit, Fair Craig will trigger. He will get bigger. Yeah. And I will draw a card. Krim, take it away. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna go and play Sunpetal Grove. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play Roaming Throne. Ooh. Whoa, nice. Uh, what creature type are you gonna choose? I'm probably gonna make this a throne for artificers. Okay. Artificer, artificer, I don't know. Potato, uh, potato? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll trigger my artificers twice. Yeah, but uh, not if you pronounce okay. them the other way. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> All right, I will untap and draw for turn. My boy. Yeah, you turn is, stolen. Man, if I play a creature, it will die. But if I don't play a creature, then you will draw two cards from my skull's clamp. So, Which means we may not be here in two turns. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's... As Jamie has a full grip, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna cast Chishiro, the Shattered Blade. Oh. And then, you stole my Stang, but that Skull Clamp is still mine. So I'm gonna pay one, and I'm gonna put it on Chishiro. Yeah, I can't stop that. I'm gonna play a Mountain as my land for turn, and then I'll go to my end step, and Chishiro will trigger, and I'll put a plus one counter on him because he's modified. Go ahead, Jamie. I'll untap. Now in my upkeep, I have to decide about the Mystic Remora trigger. I've drawn no cards off this. We thing. did it! Good, Yay! responsible gaming, right? Okay. I'm proud of you. I'm yes. proud of you. Yay! I'm really happy we all didn't feed Jamie more cards. <laughs> Remora responsibly, just don't. Not even once. Yeah. Are you gonna pay the one mana or not? Yeah, I'm gonna pay the one. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, non-creatures are off the menu for another turn cycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, draw for turn. Saga will trigger. 
going to chapter two. Until my next turn, all of your creatures must attack each combat if able, but they can attack anyone, including me. Yeah! Not that I would. We got there on the land drop. I wanted Mystic to get me. Nice. Tap Soul Ring to play a Thought Vessel. Then I will play a card I was obsessed with before I was obsessed with her in a video game. It is Karlak, Fury of Avernus. Oh no, <laughs> Stang! <laughs> You're gonna be so good! I will go to combat. Um, okay, before attackers are declared, I will sacrifice a treasure for a white. Oh, we got moves. Our hero! And I will cast Tear, and I will destroy the Akron War, the saga. Do you hey. pay the four? No, I will not pay for the remora. There's right. a one in 80 something chance this is an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I'll draw it. Uh, the Akron War will be destroyed. Yeah! <laughs> You get Peace. to Stang. Peace time. Well, when the saga goes away, Rachel, Stang goes back to you. Everything's different now. So now he gets two attacks with the fur crack, if that's yeah. it, right? Yeah. I get two attacks if I want two attacks. True, you get one attack and then maybe attack, block. Yeah. You've already goaded the table emotionally. So <laughs> you go to the table mostly. That uh, means that, yeah. My heart goes out to anybody but you. <laughs> Pretty much, actually. So Okay. Rachel, Fear Crag is coming at you. And on attack, I'm gonna go to Stang. Okay, I will take five and go to twenty-eight. On that attack, Karlak will trigger. I'll untap my commander and get another combat that I am not going to use. Wow. Wow. That's like vigilance with it's, extra steps. Yeah. <laughs> also known as being afraid. <laughs> yeah. I, I would feel a lot better if there wasn't all this down here. Yeah. Look at all that. Look at us. I've just done honest magic one land Fair. turn. One thing, one spell. Yeah. yeah. One spell a turn. Uh, I pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. I will draw. All right, I'm gonna play a Sundown Pass. Ooh. It is untapped. All right, I'm gonna tap five, and I'm gonna cast Mana Geyser. Oh! Oh. <laughs> uh, do you pay four? I don't. How many tapped lands do you have? Four. Five. Five. Okay, so 14 red mana are now in my mana pool. Great. Sorry, he's gonna draw some more, but. Well, you can't even pay your 14 mana. I've gotta do stuff. <sighs> he's just feeding the fish. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, you can hit the fish in a second. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna spend five of those. So I have nine floating and play Inspired Tinkering. Mm. Jamie, you can draw. Okay. So I'll exile the top three cards in my library. It is two lands and a Grenzo Havoc Razor. And I'll also make three more treasure. Not great hits there. I have already played my land this turn, but I can play these until next turn. So still somewhat useful, I guess. I was hoping for more gas. I guess I'll cast this Grenzo. So I'll go down to seven mana floating. Two triggers on that. I'll make a Thopter from PNLR. I'll make another treasure from the Rose Room Treasurer. But when that Thopter enters, it will trigger the Rose Room Treasure. So I'll actually make two treasures. Nice. <laughs> Tell me you got something to do with that. That was how, like I told you, I was, I, that was the problem with this turn. Well, was like, I don't next. know what this is gonna give me. All right, then I'm going to use the rest of my mana and one treasure paying for the Mystic Remora. Wow. Oh. To cast Chandra Torch of Defiance. Sweet. Oh, okay. that's good. No, oh, it's a thing you guys can attack that isn't a player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would make it so you don't grow. Yeah. Graham, what do you think I should shoot with this four damage from Chandra? I'll be honest with you, I don't think Jamie wants to do too much damage, as in going to combat. Maybe get one combat step, so that kind of nullifies Karlak because mm -hmm. he needs blockers. I think Rachel is very happy to go swinging here. So but I can't kill her commander. No. I can but, only kill Chishiro. But it does say whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under my control, create a spirit. Yeah, so that's gonna help Rachel. Stuff on the staying and attacks. So the Stang on... twin comes in with all those auras and equipment on it and makes that many two twos. Uh, on board, it represents three spirits. I think, I think we got it. <laughs> Chishiro? Pick. Yeah, Chishiro's kinda gotta go. Okay, I will take your advice and I will negative three Chandra and deal four damage to Chishiro. That is fair. He will die and I will draw two cards from Skull Clamp. That must be the best equipment in Commander. Sure is. <laughs> Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying the game so far. We wanted to tell you a little bit about some live stream stuff that we've been doing on a platform called Whatnot. You know, Jimmy, when I first heard of Whatnot as a platform, I wasn't sure about it. Yeah, I, I didn't know if it matched what we were doing content-wise, right? Yeah, and it seems a little silly, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But after now having done a couple of streams, it's not at all what I thought. It's been a ton of fun. Yeah, and it's a great way for us to just connect directly with the community, which is, of course, near and dear to my heart. Yeah, it's really been like doing live episodes of the podcast, mm -hmm. except for, well, chats there, so 
I guess it's less like that. It's more like talking Magic and Commander with friends. Like, yeah. interacting with chat is a really fun part of it. So fire off those questions, chat. Yeah. We're going to be hanging out here with you. Yeah, and not only that, if you're there, you get a chance to win a ton of free stuff that we also give away every yeah. single stream, which is, I'd say, pure upside. And of course, if you're interested, you can pick up some stuff like GK merch. Yeah, sign cards and things like that. Yeah. It really has been a blast. If you'd like to come join us, you can sign up at whatnot.com slash invite slash command. And then you want to bookmark our page so that it tells you when our next stream is happening. Plus, new users to the site get 15 free dollars to use anywhere on the site. That's amazing. Yeah, if nothing else, I would highly recommend just signing up, again, whatnot.com slash invite slash command, and then going on and just claiming your 15 free dollars. Yeah. You can just buy three or four booster packs. It'll basically be free. You do have to pay for shipping. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you don't like the app and you never use it again, at least you have claimed the free value. You've gotten your value. You, yeah. You know? Again, whatnot.com slash invite slash command. Yeah, we hope to see you there. Josh, when we first started the Command Zone podcast, did you ever think it was going to turn into a full-blown business? Absolutely not. I mean, honestly, I didn't think we were going to last a year. <laughs> but now we moved into a brand new space with a full staff making more content than ever. Yeah, it's been quite a journey. But luckily, we found a lot of great tools to help us along the way, like Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, whether you're at the apartment stage or in a full office suite. For a long time, we didn't have a merch store because, well, the logistics can get pretty daunting. But Shopify's all-in-one e-commerce platform helped us expand what we could offer and get our stuff in the hands of our fans. Tons of businesses use Shopify, like Brooklinen, Rothy's, Allbirds, and you can see why. They've got the internet's best converting checkout, powerful tools like Shopify Magic, and an award-winning support system that's there for you no matter what. It just makes the selling side of your business that much easier. So you can focus on the things you really care about like playing magic, or talking about playing magic, or playing magic. You know what, Josh? We do have cool jobs. Yeah, we do. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash TCZ, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash TCZ now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Again, shopify.com slash TCZ. All right, my new deck list is complete. Now, let's see which cards I don't already own and buy them. Wait. How'd you do that without going through a million boxes? Oh, I just use Architect. They make it super easy to upload and manage your collection. Then when you're done brewing a deck, you can sort it by collection status to see what you already have. So this group is just cards you don't own. Yep, I just click buy this stack and it takes me right to Card Kingdom. Whoa. Architect is the best place to browse, brew, and playtest commander decks. Just go to architect.com slash command zone to get started. That's A-R-C-H-I-D-E-K-T dot com slash command zone. He will die, and I will draw two cards from Skull Clan. That sucks. <laughs> I spent four, I spent eight mana and three loyalty so she could draw two cards. That's great. All right, so that Crone War second chapter is still active, right? I still have to attack with all my creatures. Yeah. If you hit me, Jamie draws. With every creature, or like one per like, creature. It's per creature. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's per creature. Son of a. I should have made a deal with him before I did the thing that I already did. Okay. I won't block Pia if that's the only thing that comes at me. Well, no, I'm gonna send these two at you. Sorry. <laughs> I try. <Yeah>. Mother shot. <laughs> okay, go to combat. Pop turn. Arcbound Ravager going at Jamie. Rose Room Treasure going at Krim. Pia going at Rachel. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm not blocking. I'm gonna take the four. I'm not blocking. I'll block Pia. Okay, no effects. I take four. I go to thirty. All right, Pia will die. I'll put her in the command zone. I take three. Going to thirty-three. Because you hit Krim with the treasure that had to attack, Fear Crag will trigger. It'll become a six-six. And I'll draw a card. And then I have three Grenzo triggers. I'm gonna go both Fur Craig and Carlac. No, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how's it feel, Jamie? <laughs> uh, fine, actually. <laughs> but with the one that hit Krim, I am going to do the impulse draw thing. All right, so I'm gonna reveal the top card of my library. And I get to cast it. Nice. Whoa, Beast okay. within. <laughs> that's really that's good. That's scary. So you could blow up something. Uh, I definitely can blow up something. Yeah. What am I blowing up? Remora, Fear Craig, Clam. Clamp. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna crack three treasures. So that means I have three left and cast the beast within, targeting the Mystic Remora. Jamie, you can draw. I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. And Mystic Remora will be destroyed. But you get a 3-3 beast. Relevant. And then I will cast Rip Apart using mm -hmm. two more treasures, targeting Stang. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Nifty. Because Stang has two damage marked on it, Rip Apart is enough to kill him, and he will go back to the command zone. 
Congratulations, Kramer. I think I just made you win, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know where that happened. All right. Well, I took the top two players and went blah, 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 blah. And now you're like, Jamie's, I didn't do anything. I am still in a very good a chair. position. <laughs> I'm still doing pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, Jamie still has a ton of mana, his commander, and two combats. Yeah. I think uh, Jamie's still doing quite well. I did the best I could. Go ahead. I, I, have, I, I want to note, I have zero cards except these two lands in the exile that I can play in one of the next turns. All right. All my bullets. I'll untap. I'll draw. Hmm. So I still have to attack. That's unfortunate. Um, you now have two clean attacks. Yeah, and if you and if you go at Chandra, then you don't even get me value. Yeah. Why would you do that? Right? Just only help you, basically. I don't yeah. want you to have a Chandra, though. I only have zero cards. Look at me. Why am I the threat? All right. I'm gonna play <laughs> Iganjo. I want y'all to know something. I came to make cookies. Right? That's, that's, uh, that's what I came to do. All right. First, before I go to combat, I'm gonna play Bernard. Cookie time. It's All right. Cookie time. Pretty important here. Food and golems get plus two. Plus two and trample. Nice. That's a big old throne. I'm gonna send my chair at you, Jamie. I'm gonna send roaming throne right at you. WWE yeah. style. I was hoping Fear Crag would be big enough to stop that by now, but it's not, so I will not block. I take six, going to 27. All right, I'm gonna go to second main. Everyone's gonna get some shoes now. Close combat so you don't have to attack. Nice. Smart. Yeah. On to you, Rachel. All set. Okay, well, we got some rebuilding to do. I will untap and draw for turn. All right, I will play a forest as my land for turn. I'm going to pay a green and cast a wild growth on this mountain. And then I am going to tap six and recast my commander. There it is. Stand is back. <laughs> That was fun. Stay I, in, I enjoyed that, everybody. <laughs> then I am going to attempt to put alpha authority on him. Yeah, there's a, been a lot of Stang touching. <laughs> We're gonna try and keep Stang in play for a moment. Okay. <laughs> no touching Stang. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm just gonna play a Findhorn Elves. I will pass to you, Jamie. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. Before combat, I'm gonna play a Bident of Thassa. Oh. Yeah, that's hmm. pretty good. Both modes relevant in this deck. So All the cards in the world. Many cards. Yes. Oh, wow. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> uh, because, because you're the player I'm most concerned about. I came to bake you cookies. You've been No, the... you came to bake you cookies. <laughs> bake you into cookies. Sorry, oh, let oh. me finish the sentence, I guess. <laughs> I, have, I have eight commander damage. You could hit me twice, and that would be your whole turn. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I'm the threat. You can kill me whenever. You could hit me once, and then I'm like just as dead as I am right now. Just campaigning hard. That over is there. all true until anyone interacts with. I have to. I, I literally have no other things going on. <laughs> don't don't buy into her pity. Don't buy into her pity. <laughs> all Rachel I can does do fine. I can she make doesn't it. need any help from you. Yeah. Pull punches. All I can How do many is times make have you played against her? You. you do not have to pull punches. Josh Rachel. needs you to kill me. <laughs> Rachel, I've been in two extra turns before this, mm -hmm. and yeah. you've been in both of them. Yep. And I haven't won those. Yes. <laughs> so if I were to point to one reason, I have to lose them. <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> so I'm gonna go to combat. Yeah. I am going to attack Rachel with Faircrack, mm -hmm. and uh, I am going to attack Krim with Beasts and Karlak. On that attack, Karlak will trigger. So I'll untap and gain first strike. And there's another combat after this. All right. Go yeah. on attack. I'll go the Findhorn Elves. That's the only one you can go. I'm not blocking. I'm taking five eight right Second from eight. the first swing. I go to 22. I cannot block and I have nothing to say, so I will take six and go to 22. That means I go to 14 commander damage from Fear Crag. Two of those creatures had to attack because Josh goaded them, mm -hmm. which nice, means Josh. Fear Crag will trigger twice. Great, Josh. <laughs> it will become an 8 How can you complain about my turn? <laughs> I, like, I did everything I could, and none of it touched you. Yeah, that's how can true. you, in any clear-minded conscience, <laughs> say, oh, way to go, Josh? How can how can those words even come out of your mouth, Grim? Josh, I don't know, dude. You should have done one more. One more. I needed you to do good one enough more. for you, Grim. I know. I needed this all gone, except yeah. for, you know, my stuff. <laughs> I will then draw three more cards from the Bident of Thassa. Uh -huh. Great. Second combat. Mm-hmm. Fear Crag is going at Rachel. Yeah. Karlak at Krim, and let's do it. Beast at Chandra. Okay, my blocks first. I, I don't block. Ooh. Uh, I'm, yeah, I didn't block earlier. I'm not gonna block again. Yeah, I unfortunately cannot block. All right, go to damage. Chandra dies. I'll take another comfy five. I will take a slightly less comfy eight and Drop die to commander damage. Commander damage knockout. Commander damage K. <laughs> no. <laughs> But you made Stang happen. I did, you know? Maybe you Stang made... wasn't interested in interacting with the dragon in any way. <laughs> I have two Fear Crag triggers and two Biden triggers this time. Fear Crag will become a 10-10. 
and I'll draw four cards all day. What are the odds we uh, resolve anything or do anything against Jamie? I'll be friends with you, but I'm just telling you, you can see what I can do. So oh, yeah. I, I guess I, you got to take whatever friends you can get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In this situation, yeah. He's got more mana than us combined and more cards than us combined. Our team up is yeah. our starting point. It's 1v1. Less than him. <laughs> I think what I do from this position is I play a command tower. Oh, oh I hadn't yeah. hit a land drop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll play a bothersome closet. Nice! I love this card. <laughs> I'll play a Mind Stone. Now we officially have access to more mana than this. Yeah. Go trigger. Thanks for flexing. But I don't actually have the Mind Stone yet, so I can't go the Roaming Throne, which is what I wanted <laughs> to do. Ward. I will go to the Restroom Treasure. Okay. I know yeah. where that's going. That's all? That's all. Okay, you want to draw any more cards? <laughs> that's all right. How many cards do you have, Jamie? I have 15. Oh my god. But I don't have to discard any because the Thought Vessel. I feel like your deck should be a lot shorter than mine. <laughs> In Apex Sleeves, your deck is as tall as a mountain. <laughs> it makes your deck look cooler. Apex Sleeves. Okay, I will untap everything here, and then I will draw my card for the turn. Big draw. It's an answer. No. I'll go to combat. I'm sorry, Krim. I get it. We're friends, but I got goaded. So the Rose Room Treasure will come at you, but the other three, Grinzo, Thopter, and Arcbound Ravager, will go at Jamie. I'm not gonna block, so. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie? Uh, I am also not gonna block anything. Okay, let's go to damage. Cool, I'll take four. I dropped to 13. I take four, going to 23. You hit Krim with the creature I goaded, so Fear Crag will trigger, becoming an 11-11 and drawing me a card. All right, on that combat damage, I also have four Grenzo triggers. I'm gonna goad for Craig. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then with the other three triggers, I am going to impulse draw. Yeah, so that's one Krim and two Jamie. Go ahead, Krim. What do okay. I do? Oh. Eldrazi Monument. <laughs> I wanted that. Potentially could have been good in yeah. my, for my deck, but not in the current setup. Okay, mm -hmm. what do I get, Jamie? A land and a Felwar Stone. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put these over here for now. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll start by tapping four and recasting Pia. That is a creature entering the battlefield, so I'll make a treasure. Then I'm gonna play my land for turn, which is the Castle Embreth, which was exiled from last turn. Mm -hmm. So Pia's gonna trigger. Mm -hmm. I will make a Thopter, and that will trigger the Rose Room Treasurer, and I'll make a treasure. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to sack my three treasure and add two more mana and cast that Eldrazi Monument. Thank you, Krim. That is a card I'm playing from Exile, so Pia will trigger and I will make another Thopter. Sure if I live long enough for you to get value off that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my third creature entering, so Rose Room Trigger will, like its second kind of ability will trigger, but I don't have any mana to pump into it, so I can't really do anything with that. Yep. All right, honestly, I'm kind of impressed uh, top decking and having that turn as it was, so Krim, hope, I also hope you live another turn, but I can't help you. Yeah. So, so good luck. Yep. Take it away. I'm gonna untap, mm -hmm. I'll draw. A tap one. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, I guess I'm gonna probably just eat it here. I think I have exactly one out, and I gotta draw it, so. Desperation tactic. I'm gonna main phase cycle irrigated farmland. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dig for an answer. Did you find it? <laughs> I don't think I did, but. Oh, it wasn't the card you were thinking of, but it also is like a card that maybe does something. It might. <laughs> your face, your face. It's like, did you draw it? <laughs> like my dog when I ask yeah. her if she wants it. <laughs> you want the, did you eat the trash? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to combat. Holy Whoa. shit. Whoa. Full swing at you, Jamie. Uh, you know, if the three from not trading with Bernard here makes all the difference, so be it. I'm not going to block. I'll take nine. I'm just gonna pass. Okay. All right. I'm actually kind of excited. This is, all right. I feel more up got moves. than I did before yeah. your turn started. <laughs> we got moves. It might not be warranted, but I feel that way. Yeah. I at least put Jamie at a low enough life total. Jamie has so many cards there. Yeah. Even if I had something, it would have to resolve. If I can make 12 more Thopters. Yeah, so you just gotta that get two spells that from that. You also yeah. have a burn spell that goes face. I appreciate you letting us have this moment. That's nice. Yeah, that was nice of you. I'm funny. doing my best. <laughs> yeah, it's on purpose. It's not me spiraling from the pressure of feeling like I'm close to a win. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I believe in you, Jamie. I mean, I seriously really believe in you based on everything that's happened so far in this game. <laughs> Fair. Okay, I think I've deduced I have no way to kill both of you this turn. So, Krim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am goading straight to combat. Do it. I gotta keep Do them alive. It. <laughs> oh, we were forgetting. My bad, sorry. <laughs> I'm sending all of it at you. 
Okay. So 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 that's it, right? We've declared attacks. We've declared attacks. Attack. Carlac trigger. All right, I'm gonna tap Sun Petal Grove and my overgrown uh, farmland. What is this? What? I think I know it. I'm is. excited about it. Yeah. It's just heroic intervention. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I drew all the attacks. All right, sick. <laughs> I have indestructible. <laughs> or my permanents do. And hexproof. Nice try. Yeah. Okay. You can't target me with your instant speed burn spell. You can't go to any of his stuff. Yeah. I cannot do that. Ha ha! How's it feel? You Eat feel it. foolish now oh with 30 God. cards in hand and 40 mana. The comment section is going to tear me apart. <laughs> I will politely take all of that damage. How much is that, Jamie? That is 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 22. Oh, I guess I've died. Satch. <laughs> okay. You've been roasted. Get roasted. Get roasted. I'm sorry, Krim. And then sadly, you are no longer in the game, Krim, so this Eldrazi monument goes back to your deck and I don't have it anymore. Give me that. So I don't have it for attack number two. Attack number two. Yep. Yeah, here Everything it comes. untaps. It had first strike. Uh, in between these combats, I'll draw five cards oh <laughs> and make Fear Crag one bigger. This seems fine. Okay, second combat. Yep. Josh, all of them again, full send at you. Oof. Fear Crag can attack you now because you're the only player it can attack, despite being goaded. You know, I just don't see if there's any path to victory if I block. I don't think there's a much of a path to victory either way. <laughs> yeah. But my only little Hail Mary chance is he's at 14 if I can sneak damage in. Mm. This doesn't kill me, so I'm not gonna block. I take 23. <laughs> I go to 11. Comfy. Whew. I do the pump Fair Crag once, draw five cards thing. Fair Crag is now a 13 13. Mm -hmm. He's drawn only 10 cards this turn. What are the odds? Those are just all lands. <laughs> just this. In one of the I mean, unluckiest streaks in history. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie's Jamie ripped did 20 have lands in a row. 20 lands. <laughs> now let's play some security measures, starting with a land. And then. A sprite dragon. Of sure. course, you need a blocker. A blocker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then, tap five, including two red, Sarkin the Masterless. What yeah, the heck? That may be... I need that Eldrazi Monument back. That's a non-creature spell, so I'll put a counter on the sprite dragon. And Quasit will trigger. I will goad Grenzo. Okay. I will down tick Sarkin to make a dragon. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna leave some blue mana up and pass the turn, Josh. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about this. Yeah, this will be fine. <laughs> no problem. Watch this. Just activate Castle About to make Lembert. extra turns history. Okay, I'll play a mountain. <laughs> Ooh, Classic. all right. So anything I attack with will take three damage. Yeah. Every single thing I have would die if I attacked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except Arcbound Ravager, in which case you just block, and I think this is all means Jamie. Good game, sir. Good game, good game. I won with gold! Yay! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> All right, yeah. congratulations to Jamie. To me, it sounds like my name. <laughs> we See, I say, was in this game. <laughs> this yes. happens all the time at the office. We're like, Jamie, and Jimmy's like, what? Huh? <laughs> and then we say Jimmy, and Jimmy's like, huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of uh, an unusual game for Commander, because I feel like whenever somebody kind of gets out to an early lead, they yeah. almost never win the game. But Jamie managed to hold on, even though he's an arch enemy for most of that game. Yeah, he started the Akron War and he finished it. Yeah, he totally <laughs> did. Yeah. Krim didn't do too much, but that's okay. He will be back to avenge us, I'm sure, at some point, right? Yeah, I feel like whenever Krim's on our content, which has only been twice now, he did he hasn't done as much. Of course, in Philadelphia, oh, wow. at MagicCon Philadelphia, what though, a performance. Game Night's Live, he did a lot. So maybe he's just like, I'm saving it all for the right moment. Yeah, exactly. He knows when to show up. Uh, great game, though, and of course, Congratulations to Jamie for taking it down that sweet deck. The homebrew decks, in fact, if you want to brew a homebrew deck, you might need some cards to do so. Head on over to cardkingdom.com slash command and to put all of those cards you need into one convenient cart, hit checkout, and bam, those cards come to you in one package at your doorstep so you can sleeve them up and get ready to play them immediately. So if you want to support the show while doing so, get the cards you need to you fast and awesome with great customer service from cardkingdom.com slash command. Yep, and of course, once you get all those cards, you want to make sure they stay in pristine condition. You want to use Ultra Pro products to protect to your game pieces, go to ultrapro.com slash command to get all the sleeves, binders, deck boxes, all the stuff that's going to protect 
your cards. They also have all kinds of deals all of the time. Yes. You often go to their website and they've just massively discounted some items. It's a thing where I literally go to ultrapro.com slash command uh, like once a week. Just what do they got? Just what do they got? What's on sale? Yeah. yeah. I just want to check in because they do definitely like give you some deals very often. So again, they're a great sponsor, but they also make great products that protect your stuff and they have great prices. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the last way to support the show is directly patreon.com slash command zone. You may want to hear more from the players that played in this game. Well, we have a tier on our Patreon that has exclusive content, including something called Turn Talk, where the players of the game from Extra Turns sit around the table and talk about what just happened, the decisions they made, the thinking behind them. So if you want to dive a little deeper into the mastermind of Josh Lee Kwai mm. or Jamie Block or Rachel Weeks or Krim, Turn Talks is for you. And not only that, when you sign up for the Patreon at that tier, you get all of our content that we've ever done that's exclusive. So you get access to a huge number of other episodes of Turn Talk, and it's directly supporting us as a show. So if you love these shows, this content, patreon.com slash command zone. Our Patreon has never had a better value yes. than right now because it has a whole bunch of exclusive content that you get immediate access to because that's all the stuff from the past, which mm -hmm. is over a dozen episodes of Turn Talk, which is yeah. a lot of content you just immediately get. So yeah, we really appreciate everybody that supports us that way. Thanks so much. All right, everyone. We'll see you soon. Maybe, hopefully, at Game Nights Live in Chicago, February 23rd. If not, just not another episode of the podcast. No big. We'll see you there, too. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Peace.